What's good, everybody? Happy Friday to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your day. But welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Today, we are going to be talking about those pure slashers. Now, everybody at the park is either dunking on somebody, taking ankles, or shooting mad threes. And a lot of you guys actually love to see those dunk animations. So, thought that I'd give you guys a dunking bill for today. So, we are going to look at the best pure slashing build in this game. Now, this slashing build is going to be able to do it all, pretty much. You're going to be able to shoot a little bit. He's going to be still, he's going to have that driving dunk of a 99. He's, he's still going to be legit. But not only that, he can also play defense. Now, these slashing builds are kind of, uh, kind of scary. I never really noticed because me, I've always been a shooter, but... I'm going to show you guys something special today. But before we get into this video, make sure that you guys smash that like button for your boy. If you guys want some more NBA 2K19 content. Also, make sure to follow your boy on Instagram. I might be dropping some PSN codes very soon. Just throwing it out there, all right? Instagram is down below in the description. Go follow me right now. But we're going to go ahead and hop right into this vid. Now, so some of you guys have been asking me, what is the best slashing build in my opinion? Now, I got to give y'all a slashing build that's going to be able to do the most. And, I mean, this is the build that I would make if I had to choose a slasher. We already know the slasher that I actually had in mind. But, for a pure slasher, I had a little something different. Now, if you want to ask me about what slasher I had in mind, it would definitely have been, uh, what was it? The defending slasher or something like that? Or, yeah, it, it, it would have been something like that, man. For today's video, we're going to focus on the pure slasher. If y'all want that video for the defending slasher or whatever I was talking about, y'all going to have to hit me up down below in the comment section and I got you guys. That that will probably come out like sometime this weekend or something. I don't know. But for this pure slasher, we're going to go ahead and just hop into it, man. We're going to do it right now. So to go ahead and start things off, of course, we need to choose the position of our player. So we already know that the shooting guard position is going to give us those better shooting badges. The small forward build is actually going to be a really lit build as well. And then if you guys want athletic finishers, that, that's that's something different, all right? So for this video, you guys already know, I'm making this build how I would make this build, all right? Like, some of you guys are going to disagree. But I would not be mad if you guys either made this build a shooting guard or a small forward. But for this video, I got to go with the shooting guard, baby. We already know we get them shooting badges. Even if they're on silver, we still get them. We still get them, and I need those. I need those. I got jump shots for days that'll get you guys up out the way, man. Y'all gonna be lit. Y'all gonna be lit. So, of course, we gotta go with the shooting guard position for this player. Now, we already know that we're gonna get some shooting badges, and, you know, we're not gonna be able to be lights out shooters. But if we are open, we will be able to hit them things, all right? Trust me. Trust me. I got jump shots already on this channel. Y'all go look at the jump shots that I posted for those people that aren't supposed to be shooting. I get greens with my with my post-scoring slasher or slashing post-score, whatever he is. But looking at the primary and the secondary skills, you guys already know, today we are looking at the pure slashers. Now, for you guys that have not ever made a slasher before, especially a pure slasher at the two, we're going to go ahead and look at these badges real quick. Looking at the badges, we do get six Hall of Fame badges. We get Lob City Finisher, Posterizer, Acrobat, Teardropper, Relentless Finisher, and also One Man Fast Break. This dude is going to be a little speedster. All right? He's going to be a little speedster. Maybe with the ball out of his hand, but he's still going to be able to get up and down the court pretty, pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? Pretty quick. Now, for our one goal badge, we do get quick reflexes. Quick reflex video is coming very soon. Like, I, bro, there's something about this badge that is just broken. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I promise you guys that. We do get nine silver badges. Now, this is this is the good part right here. We get corner specialist, tireless scorer, putback king, up and under specialist, defensive stopper. We get defending badges on this player build, bro. That's crazy. We get Defensive Stopper, Pick Dodger, and also Pick Pocket, Chase Down Artist, and Free Throw Ace. On Silver. Bro. On Silver. 
Hey, I don't know about y'all, but this joint, this joint looking kind of right. Now for our five bronze badges, we do get difficult shots, post spin technician, ankle breaker, charge car, and also bruiser. We already know how cheesy that bruiser badge is. It don't matter if it's bronze, graphite, uh, copper, hall of fame, diamond, it don't matter. Bruiser is one of those annoying badges that a lot of big men have, but it just tires your opponent out a lot quicker. That's pretty much what it is. Now, you get this build to 99 overall, you already know what's going to happen. I don't even got to explain nothing. Like, all your silver badges going to go up. We already know what time it is. But this is definitely a good build, depending, like, just looking at the badges alone, this is definitely a build that I would rock with. You guys already know that shooting has to be an option for any build I put my hands on. Any build. You know what I'm saying? It, it's scary that you can pretty much shoot with any build in this game as long as you have the correct jump shot. So the, the same jump shot that I'm using for my for my big man is the same one that I'm using for my lockdown defender and I get greens from three. It don't matter if it's from the top, from the corner, it, it's whatever. Them dudes can shoot. But we're going to go ahead and get into the next step and the next step is going to be somewhat very important. And that is going to be our height. We really want to still remain dominant in the paint because that's where most of our buckets are going to come from. Now, looking at this build, we are at the two. We don't want to be 6'4". 6'4 is going to give us a little bit of speed. It's cool, you know, it's whatever. But I still want to be tall enough to either play defense or to get a little bit of, you know, just to get a little bit of an advantage on my opponent. So... For the two spot, I would really feel comfortable being six foot six. We still get everything that we need. We still can play defense. We can still do everything that I really want to do. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So six, six for our height. There's, no, there's nothing better than this, man. Nothing better than this. So the next step that we have to focus on is going to be our weight. Now, the weight is going to be very important because that pretty much determines our strength, our contact dunk, our speed, our everything. Pretty much everything that we need as a slasher, because you know, we are primary slashers and secondary slashers. So we are a pure slasher. We kind of need that good stuff. All right. We kind of need it. So for the safest weight that I decided to go with for this video is going to be no other than 220 pounds. 220 pounds gives me everything that I need and more. You know what I'm saying? Our contact dunk's still going to be high. Our vertical's still going to be high. Our strength is still going to be high so we can finish those contact layups, contact dunks around the rim. We, we still going to be Gucci. And I really, really like this weight. So 220 is what I decided to go with. Now for our wingspan, we already know what the wingspan controls. The longer the wingspan, the better the defender. The shorter the wingspan, the better the shooter. And I actually want to put a little bit of shooting on this build it's definitely not going to be a lot so don't expect to see like an 85 3 or whatever you still get some shooting badges but you're going to have to make it work with that jump shot so it's not going to be too high but for my wingspan that i decided to go with was 83.2 it still gives us a little bit of a mid-range and a tiny bit of a three but you guys already know that you can put boost on any of your stats in this game pretty much so if you guys want to shoot better Put some shooting boots on and you're good to go, all right? So we're going to go ahead and look at the stat caps right now. And hopefully you guys are going to be amazed or impressed by this. If you guys aren't, then y'all let me know. But this build definitely took me by surprise. So I'm impressed. I, I really don't care if y'all are. If y'all aren't, I'm impressed. So let's go ahead and get into the caps right now. Now looking at the standing layup, of course, it's a 99. Our driving layup is a 99. Our shot close, 99. Standing dunk is an 83. We took a little bit of a hit because we're a little shorter, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. Our driving dunk is still going to be a 99. So you guys already know when it comes to that paint, you guys are going to be unstoppable. All right? You guys, are you guys got it. You got it. So when it comes to that contact dunk, we wanted it as high as possible. And we do end up with a 94 contact dunk. So I, I feel bad for the dude that's in the paint when you driving and you just got to dunk on him, bro. It, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Pat him on the back and say good game. It is what it is. 94 contact dunk. I'm taking that all day, every day. Now, when we look at the shooting, the shooting is not going to jump off at the page to you. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be, you know, all that in the bag of chips. 
but our shooting is not that bad. Our open mid is a 71. I like it. Our open shot three is a 62. I've, I've done worse. You know what I'm saying? I've made greens with worse standing threes. I made greens with worse standing open mid range. You, you, you fine, bro. You fine. I got the jump shot for you guys. If you guys need me to repost it on the channel, y'all let me know down below. But I've already made that jump shot vid, and it's up to you guys to either find it and exploit that joint or, you know, never shoot a three with this bill. It don't matter because this bill's still going to get buckets. But looking at the ball control, you do end up with an 81 ball control. That's actually really good for a pure slasher. Like, this has no shot creating in it, no playmaking in it, and your ball control is still at 81. I dig that. Looking at all the stats, all the other stats are, you know, iffy. Not really iffy, but all the other stats are just, like, mediocre. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to have the best of every world. You're not a big man, so you're not going to be doing post hooks and all that crap. And you're not a glass cleaner, and you're not a small forward, so you're not going to really be getting rebounds like that. You you still can get rebounds because your vert is off the, off the chain, but, you know, you're not going to really be looking for rebounds. You're going to be looking for the one-man fast break. You're going to be running down the court. That Come on. Let, let's be honest. You're going to be running. Now, your steals still do max out at a 76. Not bad. Not bad at all, especially because we dropped two on our wingspan. You're still going to get a decent steal. Looking at the speed and the lateral quickness. Lateral quickness. Oh, I don't even think I even talked about. Well, the vert is a 92. The lateral quickness is a 79, and the speed is a 90. So, you good. You good. We good. We good. So this is the build that I had to show you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. This is definitely one of those builds that's just going to take over at the park, especially for you pure slashers. We already know about the shock rate and slasher. We already know about the playmaking slasher, or the slashing playmaker. If you guys want videos on that, y'all let me know down below. But I just had to get you guys out of the way with this pure slasher. I don't even think I did a pure slashing build this year. So, you know, a lot of you guys just want to dump because a lot of you guys can't really shoot that well. And I, I understand. You know what I mean? So this is definitely a build for you guys that are a little bit more poor on the shooting side. And y'all just want to finish around the rim. This is for y'all. Y'all got them 99s. Now, the thing is, what y'all about to do with them? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. If you don't, I mean, leave a dislike. If you didn't like the video, it's whatever. Leave a comment for your boy if you guys want more builds or more challenges or whatever. I'm trying to hear what you guys want to see, and I'm going to do my best to do whatever I can. If you guys haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to one, this channel, and two, my second channel, which is Corey TV. Corey TV all together, C O R E Y TV. And uh, be lit with me, man. Be lit with me. And that channel is pretty much growing pretty fast. And I really appreciate you guys for supporting my second channel. It is my vlog, my challenge, my pretty much whatever channel. And I'm having fun with it. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy Cino, and I'm getting up out of here, man. Peace. Pop up, then turn the VIC, I'm getting silly, uh. Whole club turn the VIP when we step in the building, uh. I got money going up, I treat it like my children, uh. Can't stop me, I've been going hard today. Cross up like Jesus or Penny Hardaway, uh. I can't take the easy route, got the harder way. I've been sipping scissor, but I'm barely walking straight, uh.